Ivy Larson. Today we're continuing with part two of the Balancing Act Kitchen Shape Up and Pantry Makeover. It's time to toss the empty calorie carbs. So why do we need to toss these? Well first, if the empty carbs you eat are not burned for energy, they're actually converted by your body into saturated fat. And this increases inflammation and increases your risk of heart disease. Empty carbs also boost insulin secretion, which makes it much more likely your body will store the excess calories you consume as fat. Now, empty calorie carbs don't contain nutrients or tummy filling fiber either. So, if these foods happen to make up a, a large part of your diet, you're going to be much more likely to have those nagging, gnawing food cravings and much more likely to experience excess hunger than if you replace these foods with healthy, fiber rich alternatives. So, where are the empty calorie carbs found? The good news is you really only need to watch out for two, and these include sugar and refined flour. Now sugar is the ultimate empty calorie carb. If you do the obvious, such as reduce your intake of sweets and stop drinking sugary beverages, you're certainly going to lower your intake of sugar. But if you happen to eat a lot of packaged foods, you really need to be very aware of the ingredients. And this is because sugar is ubiquitous. It's everywhere in the processed foods world. For example, you'll find excess sugar in foods like yogurt that are marketed as low fat. You're also going to find excess sugar in foods like marinara sauces and then many breakfast cereals that you think of as being healthy. Frozen entrees and breads and crackers and then those energy bars that I see so many people eating before and after their workout are all notorious for containing excess sugar. And all that sugar can really add up at the end of the day. So it's very important to learn to read the ingredients list carefully. Now refined flour is the second empty calorie carb you want to avoid and it acts just like sugar in your body. It is true that refined flour is made from whole grains but it doesn't contain any of the nutrient and antioxidant rich germ nor does it contain any of the tummy filling fiber that's found within the whole grain. So the problem is refined flour simply fills you out but not up. Now if you bake you want to switch to using whole wheat flour or you can even use a new product white whole wheat flour. And you're also again going to want to read the ingredients on the foods you buy and you want to avoid those foods that are made with enriched, bleached or all purpose flour. Foods like breads, um, crackers, many muffins and pretzels and then those breakfast bagels are often made with refined flour. So again, just learn to read the ingredients list carefully. That's all we have time for today, but please tune in for part three of my pantry makeover when I'll show you how to stock up on healthful whole foods your entire family can enjoy. See you then.